There's three things that I think we need to be thinking about is who we're looking for, who could lead and do what I do. And the first one is what I would call is they would have spiritual velocity. Spiritual velocity. Now, in some churches, you know, you have to be a Christian for a long, 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 long time before they let you lead anything. But I think when you look at the 12 people Jesus chose that he was going to build his life into, that he saw that had leadership potential, those guys were not all well put together. But one thing you'll notice about all of them, they had spiritual velocity. They had hunger. They wanted to... They wanted to grow spiritually. They wanted to learn how to lead. When he called them to be with him, the 12 disciples, the passage tells us, he called them to be with him and to go out and preach. So if you were going to be a disciple of Jesus, you already knew, I'm going to learn how to be a follower of Jesus, but I'm also going to have a ministry in the life of others. And so really what we're talking about is, as you look at people on your team of who could be that next leader, thinking about who has spiritual velocity in my team, who's really growing. They're really hungry to know God. They really respond well to the Word. Uh, they re respond well when the Holy Spirit uh, tells them to do something. They have spiritual velocity. And so that's what we're really looking for is our first characteristic of, of leaders is where are they, how fast, and how is their temperature for spiritual growth.